What do you think? If you put a five foot nothing, less than 100 pound woman, armed with only her bare hands, up against a full grown, 700 pound, hungry polar bear, who would win the fight? <laughs> if one were to match any human up against a polar bear, the human would have little or no chance of surviving, unless that human has a high powered rifle, a sufficient amount of ammo, and can hit what they are aiming at. It did not turn out as expected when one polar bear made a bad choice and skulked into a little village in the northernmost region of North America. It was looking for a snack, maybe? Then it began sizing up a seven-year-old boy. But when the seven-year-old's mom noticed the bear, it was on. The big white bear. A gigantic white bear is not uncommon in and around the polar regions of the Great White North. When fully grown, polar bears can weigh easily seven or eight hundred pounds, and they're willing to eat just about anything. Most of us have seen the videos depicting them stepping from one iceberg to the next in a pristine and icy wilderness. However, they are also found in the village garbage dumps and other places that humans might be. Because we humans don't always do well when it comes to disposing of things that bears might want to eat. And these bears are amazingly good scroungers. Our 700 pound monster decided to check out the dining options in the little town of Evujevic on the shore of Hudson Bay in northern Quebec, Canada. That was its first bad move. It's not likely to find much. The 280 odd full-time residents who are veterans of living in the middle of nowhere, they, they don't usually make the mistake of allowing anything to lay about that a bear would want to eat. Not finding anything around the village dump, the bear made his second mistake. In spite of the noise of a kid's street hockey game, the bear decided to move further into the town maybe to check out some of the garbage cans. And as this monster quietly moved further into town, it spotted a tasty little hors d'oeuvre, a seven-year-old boy who looked mighty appetizing. And about the same time, the kids involved in the hockey game spotted the intruder and began to call out a warning. Bear meets Mama. It was a decent but cold day in February. Everything was covered in snowpack that might disappear by late July. Lydia and Jayu was walking her two sons back home when she noticed the tone of the kids hollering in the hockey game had changed from trash talk to something else. She turned and looked, and there was a gigantic polar bear closing in on her seven-year-old. Immediately, instinctively, she told the boys to run. Then this tiny little woman turned her full fury to the bear. She recalls thinking, my boy, my boy, my boy is going to be killed. Nothing I can do. But I started yelling. And after that, I felt better. Witnesses stated Lydia ran at this huge white bear screaming, swinging and kicking. And then with one swat to the face from the bear, she was off her feet and on her back in the snow. She kept kicking up at the bear, swinging her fists and screaming, Polar bear! The bear swatted again, rolling her to one side. The chaos was interrupted by three shots from a rifle. And it took a second, but the gigantic bear turned from the little woman to face the neighbor, who had just let off those three shots, Sigwalak Inalik. Sigwalak said the bear looked him in the eyes and moved towards him. And then he said, I shot the bear four times with a 303 caliber rifle. Quickly, Sigwalak checked to see if the woman was alive and the bear was dead. Then, back on her feet, tiny little Lydia, covered in blood and in shock, ran to a nearby home. After a quick check that everything was still attached, she was taken to the village nursing station. Her injuries, a few deep scratches and a 
black eye. Larry Herbert, a regional captain with the police force, was on scene shortly after the bear was killed. He said in his 24 years he'd never seen anything like it, and that Lydia had, for sure, saved the kids' lives. Captain Herbert had been acquainted with Lydia for about 15 years, and he knew her as a quiet little gal. He was surprised that she took on an eight-foot-long, 700-plus-pound polar bear. Who won? So, here's the else. When it comes to bear versus little woman, who won? Well, identifying the loser is pretty easy, as only one of the two combatants in this case walked away alive. So, there it is. Was the bear hungry? Lost? Confused? Who knows? But what we do know is the bear was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and ended up dead. Lydia and Jayu, and I can confirm this with my own experience. I've been happily married to a tiny little gal for over 40 years, and I know that you'd never want to underestimate a tiny woman. She scares me. And I would venture that Lydia's boys feel the same way about their mom, especially now that she took on a polar bear. Yes, it's a true statement. When it comes to seemingly insurmountable challenges, sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. And that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Could you help us out? Please subscribe to the channel, watch other videos, comment, hit the like button. It really helps us to get the exposure so that other folks can enjoy it too. Thank you.